a lot of Mind of a Country Boy is actually about parenting. A, a good bit of it, yeah. But with, um, you know, pair of boots is one, especially like I'm a new mom, like I'm, I'm, I'm a sucker for this. What were y'all's intentions when you were in the early days about the boys and about like, this is the kind of men we want to raise? I think we just wanted good boys, you know, good boys that, that know how to act, you know, and they, and that's our favorite compliment now is, mm-hmm. you know, when a coach calls us and they're like, you know, your kid's kind of on a different level of like knowing how to have manners and stuff. I guess the other question I want to ask about pair of boots specifically is in this season of life, what has you wanting to sing a song like that? You know, that song is just so reflective of when you think about boots kind of make a man. Yeah. And that's what it is. I mean, mm. buy a boy a pair of boots, he'll wear them till he wears them out. He won't know it yet, but he's a step ahead before they ever hit the ground. I mean, the fact that you get a kid working outside, you know, like Tate went through a sweet corn patch phase where all he did was go throw on muck boots and go pick sweet corn. That's what we wanted them doing, stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, I think this song really embodies kind of what a country, what the country deal yeah. is about. You know, yeah. going and buying your... Country raisin. Like, country raisin, yeah. yeah. So making an album. It's been four years. Does that feel like a long time? Yes. It, okay. It's hard to believe. Yeah. I mean, with um, Country On, we were like, let's just put a single out. And then with... um. But I got a beer in my hand. Let's just keep music coming out. And then we were like, what we really want is have a big song pop, like a big song. And Country On was a great song. But then like when we hit Love You, Miss You, Mean It, we were like, yeah, this is the one that we we go hype an album around. I want to talk about For the Kids. Is it too personal to ask if there was, were there moments for y'all where you were like... You know, I wouldn't say, I mean, me and Caroline aren't, I mean, you know, people will be like, oh my God, are y'all married, currently married for the kids? But I think... that's the scary thing about putting a song like this out because... Oh, it's a real deal. There's way worse reasons to stay... Like, is that such a bad thing? No. Well, first of all, in my opinion, this might be my best song I've ever written from top to bottom... Just because, well, because like we, like me and uh, I, I guess Brad, Brad Tercy and, and Justin, Justin Ebot. Ebot. I mean, when I, I'm thumbing through my phone and I see the title that I wrote for the kids and I was like, and here, I was like, hey boys, I got a, mm-hmm. I got a doozy idea. And I was like, the song, the, the title is called For the Kids and it's about being married for your kids. And I laid it all out, and we were like, Pfft. For the average marriage out there, do you want them to be married for more than the kids? He- yeah, hell yes, I do. I want that. For, like, But I think, are there seasons in people's life that maybe like they stay together for the kids, and they make it to the other side? And like, isn't that a victory? Well, or When I was 19 or 20, all I wanted to do was see happy parents. Mm-hmm. And uh, so... Um, and all me and Caroline have wanted our parent, our children to see were like, oh, my God, my parents are cuddling on the couch. I think it's a really spectacular song, and I think it's it's special. Well, and- thank you. I, I, You know, listen, I mean, I, you know, it's a little bit of a it, it's a risk because, you know, you don't want to you don't want the public to assume that me and Caroline are in that right now. Yeah, because it ain't that way. But. Yeah. Everybody that I play to, it's the song that's married. I mean, they're like, yeah. oh, my God. And they yeah, look yeah, at their yeah. wife, and their wife's like. <laughs> <laughs> but then if they get in the car, and they're like, what would you think of that song? Yes. Yes. And like, then that's they go, it, man. That's it. If they go, well, I think we're doing that right now. Yeah. And what do we need to do to stop? Being married only for the kids. If that, I mean, I'm about to get emotional Hell thinking yeah. about it because if it can make it can make some, I mean, everybody's out there in the in the thick of it. Whether you're a country music singer or you're, yeah, working on power line. I can't move on without talking about um, Jesus about my kids. We're all in the kids land, Luke. We're there. You're processing like your kids with Jesus, and I do love the used to talk to. I mean, the hook is amazing. Used to talk 
to my kids about Jesus. Now I talk, I talk to Jesus, to Jesus about, about my, my kids. kids yeah. But I guess I was just like, you don't talk a ton about your faith. And I just thought it was really, that felt really vulnerable. We don't get to church as much as we should, but we do some cool stuff like, like every Easter, I, I bring somebody in to do an Easter sermon at our farm. And cool. it's like awesome. That's where we are as a family. And when I think about talking to, talking to, you know, my kids about Jesus and how to use that to get you through life and get you through the ups and downs. I mean, my thing is if, if all that happened in my life, if I didn't believe they were my, all that, that, that all of my people that I've lost are in a better place, man, I don't want to live in that. I don't want to live in that space. I mean, that's the only thing that gets us through, in my opinion, is the belief of the next place together. And I feel sorry for people that don't have that deal. And God, you want to help them and get them there. Because I think overall, it'll make them approach life with a, with a, with more of a hopeful situation but um so yeah that song i mean the second i heard it i was like this is the right thing 